Luckily, those great-grandparents had settled in the Midwest of the United States. We grew up in the Midwest of the United States with no prejudices. We were intolerant of nothing. Yes, we were probably intolerant of somebody who wanted to elbow us out of the line to the movies or something like that. But we were intolerant of no person, religious-wise, color-wise, anything you can think of. Life was tough in the Midwest. We had to depend on our neighbors. We depended on everybody. You didn't think about anything other than how could you help them and how could they help you. That's what was passed down from my great grandparents. Not all of us in the United States and not all of us in the world are that lucky to have had that kind of background. I have too many friends who had a parent who had some stuck in there, something stuck in his or her head about the wrongness or the stupidity of a certain kind of person, a, a, a certain set of religion, or, or cults, people of a certain skin color. And that, my friend, wasn't as lucky as I was. What my friend was lucky what my friends who are that way have been lucky about has been their education in the United States. And luckily they have all gone through schools where you are told to forget about color, forget about religion, look at the person on your right and look at the person on your left and it is the person, what's inside the person that is so important. And so many of my friends with difficult parents and grandparents have been able to overcome any traces of intolerance because of that education. But it is a marriage clearly of the two and, should con and has to continue to be. It is the parents here and it is the school there. Somehow you cannot have...